Hello, my name is Inger Andersen and I'm the Executive Director of the United Nations Environment Programme. Like you, I use many electronic devices and communication technologies in my daily life. In fact, I find it very difficult to function properly without them. But what happens to these products when we're done with them? E-waste or electronic and electrical waste is a growing problem worldwide. It is estimated that in 2020, the world will produce about 50 million tons of e-waste. By 2050, this could rise to as much as 120 million tons. This far exceeds our capacity to collect and dispose of e-waste in an environmentally sound manner. If we continue with a business as usual approach to e-waste, nature, the air we breathe, the water we drink and the food we eat, and our health would be at a huge risk. But like any environmental challenge we face, here too we have tremendous opportunity to find new ways to reuse, redesign and recycle such products. And when we do this, we can support and build the generation of green jobs and foster a circular economy with new and sustainable business models. And when we solve the e-waste challenge, we contribute to protecting biodiversity and to addressing climate change. Electrical and electronic products make, made from recycled materials generate only a fraction of the greenhouse gas emissions compared to products made from primary materials. But a sustainable approach to e-waste calls on, above else, behavioral change. And this is why this massive online open course is so important because it'll help us find simple solutions in our daily lives that can make a big difference. And if you're a student or a researcher, this course can help you learn more about frontier technologies that can reduce e-waste and its toxicity by changes to the design process. And if you're a policymaker or work in the telecommunications sector, you can learn more about how e-waste is regulated around the world or how telecommunication standards can help smart cities and countries to develop more sustainably. Follow the MOOC if you are a healthcare professional and you want to protect children from exposure to e-waste. And if you're interested in how inclusive and sustainable business models can advance the circular economy and make sound business sense, this is a course for you. Because together, we can turn the e-waste challenge into an opportunity. Join us now and help make it happen.